Friday, January 30th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. A blast at a maternity and children's hospital south of Mexico City left at least two people dead and dozens others injured on Thursday. The explosion was caused by a gas leak from a fuel truck parked on site. Nearly a thousand emergency responders worked to free people who had been trapped inside. Most of the building collapsed in the accident, including the emergency room and nursery. Germany's Pegida anti-Islam movement is unraveling. Five leading members, including organizers and a spokeswoman, have split from the group days after one of the founders called it quits. Last week, Lutz Bachmann stepped down after it was revealed that he made derogatory comments about immigrants on Facebook and posed as Adolf Hitler in a photo. Pegida, which is short for Patriotic Europeans Against the Islamization of the West, has held weekly anti-Islam rallies in the city of Dresden since October. The number of participants has since dwindled. The group abruptly canceled its next rally scheduled for Monday due to, quote, organizational and legal reasons, but says protests will resume the following week. Uganda's Wildlife Authority is using small surveillance drones to monitor protected animals in the country's major national parks. Wildlife protection agencies say a surge in poaching is causing a worrying decline in elephant and rhino populations. The illegal ivory trade is big business in East Africa. Officials hope the drones will help catch poachers red-handed and ultimately reduce killings. But conservationists say the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Under Ugandan law, the harshest penalty given for poaching is a 12-month prison sentence or a $3,000 fine. First-time parents might wonder throughout a pregnancy what it feels like to hold their newborn baby. An Estonian company has made that possible with 3D technology. For around two or three hundred dollars, Wolfprint 3D can print a full-color, scalable model of a fetus based on ultrasound scans. Many doctors have welcomed the prints as a way for parents to gain a realistic idea of their new addition. Others say they could provide insight into possible deformities before a baby is born and could be used to teach medical students about pregnancy. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Na koi ye Musliman kar sakta hai, na koi Isai kar sakta hai, na koi Hindu kar sakta hai. Jiske sine me dil ho, wo ye kam soch kar bhi kam jata hai. Lekin yakin mane us din jab ham wahan pe kam kar rahe the, to hamari aankhon se aansu nahi ruk rahe the.